Hello there, welcome to the Air Gun Gear Show. This is the Webley VMX DR. No, nope, no idea what VMX means or DR, but it is a gas ram brake barrel air rifle and she's a beauty. But am I allowed to call it a she? I mean, it's not politically correct. Who cares? Watch on. Webley has been a name in the air gun market for many years possibly as long as some of the others that bang on about their history all the time. And for me as a child, I remember it as a sought after name. However, in the last few years, it's kind of dropped off my radar. Pretty much the same as Meghan Markle's friendship with Kate. However, I'm not here to give you a history lesson about Webley. What you want to know is, is this gun any good? And I'm going to tell you. Mine is 177 caliber and it's 108 centimeters long, of which 42 centimeters is the barrel, and it weighs unscoped 6.4 pounds. The stock is, well, plastic, but let's be honest, most of the synthetic guns out there are a plastic stock. In no way should we ever say, it's the finest plastic made using the cooling breath of angels. Nope, it's plastic but it is one of the best finishes I've seen on a plastic stock in a long time. And Webley ain't paying me to say that. The metalwork is kind of polished black and the actual metal itself looks very sturdy and well made. The flute at the front holds the front sight and is for either looks or to help you cock the gun. It's something for you to grip onto, baby. The breech block is a good chunk of metal, and on top is a rear sight adjustable for windage and elevation. Working back along the housing, it's cut for dovetail mounts, and an arrest of plate is there to help you with scope creep. But it is a little far forward for my liking. Ambidextrous cheek piece and rubber shoulder pad on the end. Auto safety, which is resettable, but the gun cannot be decocked. So if you ain't gonna shoot it, don't cock it. Stippling in the right places, and it really is good grippy stippling. I bought mine from Bristol Air Guns and I paid £149 for it. And I think that's a really good price because what you need to remember is this is a gas ram gun. And that means it's a lot smoother on cocking. It's basically got a ram inside it, like you have in the back of your car that helps you open the boot lid. Remember, it's the boot, not a trunk. Elephants have trunks, and try as I might, I don't think I could put this inside an elephant. In the air gun world, the myth is that a ram lasts longer than a spring. I don't know that the Germans would necessarily agree with that, but when you pull the trigger on this, it does shoot with a nice silky smooth finesse. And straight away, I would choose this way over and above something like the Remington Express or the Thunder Scepter. Using the open sights on top, at 15 yards, you're gonna get groups that fit under the bottom of a drinks can. And in the backyard with those open sights, it's excellent fun as a tin can blaster. However, if you put a scope on the top of it, it turns into a whole different rifle. I've done all the pellet testing for you and I'm going to tell you straight away, save your time and trouble and your money and just buy a tin of JSB Exact 8.4s. It's what the gun likes best. It will use the Bisley Superfields, they're a close second, but just stick with the JSB Exacts. But I have got to mention that trigger. Now that trigger is very, very, very curved. In fact, curved so much that when you go to pull it, it actually disappears up inside the stock a little bit. And the pull is very, very long. I did try and adjust it as per the manual, but it really didn't make a whole lot of difference. It's just something you've got to get used to. But when you do, it's quite easy to use. Now, just to be clear, my rifle has the VMX trigger and not the Quattro trigger, even though they're both in the manual. 
The scope I've put on is actually off a Stoga Air Rifle, something that I reviewed a little while ago. And in my opinion, the scope is probably the best bit from the package. It's a 3x9x40 and it works really well on top of the Webley. For the best eye relief, I have turned that arrestor plate round. It was just a bit too far forward without adjusting it. Oh, that's a tin. And another tin. Straight through it, I think. Oh, ping pong ball! <laughs> yeah! The one. I did hit the third one, look. I sort of split it in two. On my rifle was a label. Ta da! And that label's got a big Union Jack flag on it, so I guess that means that the gun was made in England somewhere. No, no. It was made in Turkey, but never mind, because if you turn the label round, it's got a big three-year warranty thing on it. But you need to read the small print, because the small print explains that it's not a three-year warranty, it's only a one-year warranty on air guns. So that bit's kind of pointless. But never mind, could be worse, this could be an Italian-made special edition that I want two grand off you for. But that bit's useless. With the light fading, that's the end of my review of this cracking rifle, the Webley VMX DR. Put a scope on it, get yourself some good quality pellets, and you've got an accurate little pest control rifle out to around 20 yards. After that, it's a cracking little target rifle out to about 50. I like it, I like it a lot, and I'm really pleased with my purchase. And I buy it over again. Ladies and gentlemen, Actually, uh, political correctness, I can't say that, can I? Creatures of planet Earth and any aliens out there in the universe watching, because we don't want to offend anyone. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would be most grateful. And if you found it helpful and useful and enjoyable, please do subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Live long and prosper.